to be out, Suzanne? Yeah, first time in five weeks. Um, right, over this little bridge. Now I've got a fabulous picture of this little bridge. I'll try and dig it out. It was about early, uh, well, about 2011, 2012, when we had that real severe winter. Do you remember the oh, picture, Oh, yeah, Suzanne? yeah, I do. I took it with my first ever iPhone. Uh, so I'll dig it out and add it onto this film. A bit overgrown now. Yeah. Well, you'll just be glad to get out in it, won't you? I am. Shall we go to the village square, Suzanne? Yeah. Are you enjoying being out? I am. It's lovely and we have had such lovely... I've been in the garden. I just <laughs> haven't been out, out. <laughs> We do take this for granted, don't we, Suzanne? But yeah, it's lovely it's here. It's lovely around here. Just five minutes from where we live. Yep, lovely. Eating grass, eh? Hey. Right, so we've bumped into Maureen and Charlie. Don't go too close. I'm not going to, we'll keep the two. How are you two coping in this anyway? Well, um, nothing's changed much for us, but apart from not being able to see my granddaughters. Um, and I can't wait to have my hair done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the hairdressers, there'll be a queue a mile long, yeah. I think. Well, it? Suzanne's yeah. just done her fringe this morning. We've got hairdressing salons, but nobody can come near. Oh, no. So she's done hers. No, I can't wait for that. <laughs> How are you coping else? with it, Charlie? Yeah, actually, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. It's, you yeah. know, after work, yeah. it's real action, and the weather's been absolutely fantastic. It's like being on, on holiday. holiday. It's That's like because it's becoming the norm. Yeah. That's I mean, what you said. You're yeah. quite like it. Yeah, it's just, yeah. you know, you get up in the morning. I mean, it's just do whatever the garden's never had so much work done to it yeah i mean if you were on a cruise on the, on the med you wouldn't be able to speak to your friends and family anyway would you no. so 
No. It's like going on a three-month cruise, isn't it? <laughs> it would, it would, pro- it would probably be nice to know how much longer because we saw something the other day and there were people were posting things on Facebook about the people not being able to go in salons for six months. Well, uh, you know. Yeah, well, I'm worried about and gigs. I mean... Oh, yeah, of course. I have so many gigs cancelled already, oh, well, obviously. Yeah. I saw Dave Barlow on Facebook yeah. the other day, done a little sing-song yeah, for the... Yeah, it's amazing, isn't it? I yeah. didn't see it. Watch bit it, cheeky. yeah, it's funny. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a bit laugh. cheeky to start with, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't think he meant it like yeah. that. If I, if I uh, want to cheer myself up, I'll watch that. Yeah? But, yeah. Well, you never know who you're going to bump into, do you? And you're in a lovely location, aren't you? Hello. Hi. Well, it's been a while, for obvious reasons, and uh, so we've just come out on a walk in the countryside. And for Suzanne, it's your first day out for about five weeks, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. I was terrified to come out. <laughs> but you enjoying it? Yeah, because we met Maureen and Charlie there. That's, yeah, that was random, wasn't it? Yeah, that's my friend's sister. So. And Suzanne this morning said to me she's going to cut a fringe, and I don't think she did a bad job, did you? I don't think I did. No. I'll have to get a job in the salon. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been cutting my hair as well. I'm not a hairdresser, but uh, I just do all the other bits and bobs in the salons. But I've been doing all right, haven't I? With a you number have. two and a, a round the to- on the top and a number one. It's just my roots. Yeah. <clears throat> and my nails. <laughs> yeah, and you know, well, you've been biting them, haven't you? Uh-huh. Go on, show them the state of your nails. <laughs> um. But yeah, so it's lovely for Suzanne to get out. I've been getting out and about a little bit because obviously I have to keep an eye on the salons and make sure things are okay and pop out and get a bit of shopping. But uh, no, I can imagine how this must be for you. And it's beautiful, isn't it? It is. I've been in the garden though, haven't I? I've been sat out there and watching me, Watching me doing... Holding the ladder. Hold, <laughs> yesterday was a hard day because I've been doing so many jobs, but we had a, 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 quite a high conifer hedge. That's what they are, isn't it? Yeah. And I've decided that I'd have a go and try to, st- and you know, cut them down, which I did, but, whew, I'm knackered today. Well, because we've got plenty of time to think, why don't you take a look at some of our past days out videos? There'll be plenty more to come. But in the meantime, if you do, it'd be nice if you'd subscribe. And once you've subscribed, press the little bell icon that appears next to the subscribe button. And give us a like and Leave a comment, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Would be. Oh, you've got a fence you might have to climb over here, Suzanne. <laughs> You're joking me. No, it's a, it's a kissing gate by the look of it. Well, it's a good job you came out today because apparently the weather's changing tomorrow. Mm. For the week. Well, yeah, here maybe, but... Maybe it's going to be nice somewhere else. <laughs> well, we can't go somewhere else, can we? It would be nice if we could. Right, so here we are. Yes, it is. It's a kissing gate. Some horses in the field there. Yeah, we should be able to see them along here a bit further. Ladies first. Want a kiss? <laughs> Don't ever got that. <laughs> Do you think they'll come over? No. You coming to say hello? Isn't this where the bull chased you? Did it? Or was it one of the kids when they were coming home from school? I don't know. I don't remember a bull chasing me here. I've, I've walked this way home from the pub before now. Yeah, Maybe I've forgotten. Someone, yeah. <laughs> Someone definitely did. Where are they? They're not here now. No. And this is my little garden room in here where I go to all sorts. Um, I have a little office in here. And, whoops, not very level. <coughs> Excuse me. And then through here, um, Whilst we've been on the lockdown, I'm doing something that I never imagined I would do. It's not as if I'm a fan of Corgi toys or or anything like that, but uh, this workshop, I, I cleared it all out, fortunately, towards the end of last year to get it back into some sort of use. And then I have another YouTube channel, actually, and 
I've recently refurbished this um, Bedford tractor unit and this uh, Land Rover, both from the 60s, and they really turned out well. And I filmed the whole process, and this is coming next, this, uh, this bus, a London Transport Routemaster bus. I just got the decals delivered yesterday that are going on the side and what have you. So that's coming next. So if you go across to Paul's workshop on YouTube, um, I've been putting films up on there. And take a look, be nice if you'd subscribe. But it's been so nice during this week, I haven't done anything in here, but um, I, will, I will make a start uh, later today and see how it goes. And then that video should be available in a few days time because it does take so long. That's one thing that surprised me about it. So yeah, so I'll be working here again, but I'll probably start this evening, get started on this bus. Um, and like I say, you know, have a look at my channel and subscribe and, you know, leave a comment. That would be nice. And as I said, it's, I'm not even a fan of Corgi toys <laughs> or anything like that, but it's amazing how it passes the time. So I'll be on that later. And as I say, it'd be nice if you come across to the channel. Aha, uh -huh, Suzanne, so you're in the kitchen. Yeah, back in the house, safe. Feel safe now. <laughs> what have you got there? A pint of mild? Pint of Pepsi Max Cherry. Have I got a spider hanging in front of me? I thought I saw something when I was in the Can't workshop. So I've just given everybody a tour of my workshop and the Corgi toys, explaining that I'm not really a fan of Corgi toys, no. but, but it just happened. And it's something for you to do in this lockdown. Yeah, mind you, you've got a list about a mile long that I'm working my way through. Two cuts on my head so far. But anyway, so you enjoyed your walk? I did. What's next on your agenda? I'm going to sit in there and phone the net. You know a net that's come before? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to ring a net for an two, hour. Two hours normally, isn't it? Well, an hour, and then if you hang up, you get another hour free. So sometimes. There's okay. the door. Oh, delivery. What is it? You what? What was it? It's a delivery for Katie. Oh, right. So I you want me to go around and get it? Get it please. So we need some hand wipes, yeah. Oh, this is becoming a bit tedious every time we get anything delivered. And of course, we've been spending quite a lot of time out here in this lovely sun trap. Right, I'm not sure if you can see me in here much, but uh, Suzanne's on the phone now with a friend and she's been quite happy all the way through this. She'll sit there on the couch and just talk to a French, to a fre French. Uh, Suzanne's quite happy to talk to a friend and she'll do that for hours on end. Whereas I get bored really easily. So this is my man cave and over here uh, is the area where I um, edit all the videos, my editing suite. A little bit untidy at the moment, but let me just move that around there. Yeah, so that area there is where I edit the videos. Uh, just here I have a setup with this mini iPad which is what we use for keeping in touch with the family and what have you with uh, um, what's it whether we use FaceTime or the other one can't remember and then over here I have my golf simulator on the screen that's activated by this plate here I have a, a mat that I tear off on there's the golf clubs just there and um, yeah, there's little LED sensors that pick up the swing and uh, so I spend quite a bit of time in here and I get to play quite a lot of um, golf courses from around the world. It is very good. I'm not sure if I can simulate a shot. Uh, can I? Is there any way I can do that without using a club? If I just quickly grab a club single-handed here, I'll swing it across and there it goes. It does have sound but I've taken it off for the sake of this. That was a rubbish one-handed shot. Anyway, Spend a bit of time on that. I have my spinner bike there that helps to keep me fit. I love uh, bike riding and I have a folding bike just around there that I take out. There is a bar and we haven't been tempted to <laughs> overdose on anything. But the room has been getting a little bit untidy because I'm in here so often. But um, I've got some editing to do. I'll get on with that. <clears throat> but we do look forward to uh, getting back on the road and uh, getting some more Our Days Out filmed. Um, not sure what else I can say other than as I've already said earlier be nice if you subscribe certainly to this channel but my Paul's workshop um, I did show you around that I don't want to specialize in let me get that behind me 
I don't want to specialise in uh, the Corgi car and things. I'd like to do some um, restorations on some really old things like lamps and things like that. I don't know <laughs> anything that's coming to my head at the moment. But yeah, it, uh, it is nice and I do enjoy the filming. And of course I've got the editing suite in here. I enjoy doing all of that. And I think I'll finish with the uh, caricature that uh, Kev, one of our subscribers, did for us there. Thanks again, Kev. Do you want to say a cheerio? Yeah, bye. And bye. Annette, put Annette up to that. Shout, Annette. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>